All right, everyone, as you can see, the box with my points showed up, and you may have noticed, um, quality may be a little different, because here's my phone, I actually bought a camera. It's a cheap one, um, it's a Canon. I got it for a really good deal on eBay. It's used, but I don't have to worry about my $1,000 phone falling over and breaking. So, um, I guess let's get into this. We will make a video on putting new points on the case, I guess. Um, I bought this stuff, the points and condenser, off eBay from Norm at isafetractors.com. Oh, I see stuff there. Get that there, you guys can see it. Um, he has a Facebook or YouTube page too, and Facebook and Instagram. Um, really good guy, knows his stuff. Um, he even came with a sticker. Cool. Um, that's definitely gonna go on the mower. Um, this will be the condenser. Must be a condenser in points. Yep, points and condenser set. Okay. Big box or such a little box. Um, don't even need a knife to open it. Now, I did tune mine enough to where it seems it's not having much of an issue anymore, but. Just reading what that says. Um, it does seem like they're the original, so it wouldn't be bad to replace them. And they're pretty worn. These are fancy looking. Really think this is the first po set of points I've ever bought brand new. I've always just cleaned points and put them back on. It has seemed to work, but we'll uh, move the tractor around. Cause I don't want to work on it all the way up there. I'm going to see if I can get it right here. Because this is the side i got to work on here. Um, yeah, it might work. But uh, I'll get everything set up and bring you guys back and show you what's up. Okay, um, change points on these. This is a case 44481. Um, this goes for a lot of different, you know, models of these cases. Um, this is the Kohler 321 14 horse engine, K321. Um, the point that's the same on, I think, all the K series. Um, points are right here. And the motor and next to your oil fill tube carburetor side of the engine sorry about that um, I'm gonna get you set up and uh, show you how to get at them and what to do with them all right so this here is that cover I just pointed to I think um, actually I had to fix my uh, tripod after when I went to go set it up because the legs on it you can see it here this is it these legs the metal rod inside two of them finally let loose the thing was super cheap when I bought it like came with a bundle and it was less than a dollar um, Take this cover off, one screw on top, one screw on bottom. Nothing too difficult. Set the screws to the side. The cover has a little cutout in it for the wire to slide through. 
Just got a little rubber grommet. Just slides off. And you'll have a gasket, or what's left of one. And do this screw here, just the tiniest of, tiniest little bit. And the wire slides off. You can see that there is notched. I don't know how well you guys are in focus here, but like I said, it's a new camera. And then take the old points themselves off. Two more screws. And they should come right off. Um, don't lose those screws because you need to reuse them. And you have your old points. And then for condenser, I'll have to reset you guys up. I'll show you how that comes off. Okay, the condenser on these, this is your air filter here, it sticks up the side when the hood's closed. Your muffler, that yours has been running recently, it's gonna be hot, so careful. Your condenser is right down in here. This is your coil, your condenser. Um, from what I see, looks like a half inch down here. It holds it on, and then you guys can't see, but up here on the coil, it's, you can kind of see a nut right there on that side. Ooh, it's super bright for you. Right there. Another one on the other side that holds the wire down. So, I'm going to first take the air cleaner off, just to get it out of the way. Okay, you can see a little better there. Um, this right here is the other nut I was talking about, just for this wire here. Um, I'm gonna see, I think that's a, Half inch there. Oh, it might be a. Oh, we'll see. I'll grab it right. How about that? Okay. It turned out to be a 7 16 um, I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to get in there at that. Not gonna work. Okay, and there is the old condenser. I'm gonna get a wrench to turn that off.
And there's the condenser. Okay. Here you can see a comparison, new parts versus old parts. Um, the points themselves, just about identical. Just small differences between the two. But the condensers, you can see that one's smaller and longer, this one's wider. The biggest difference is, I have got my string caught. You can see there, the tab comes off on the wrong side. So, this one here, we're going to have to see if we can, it might actually be easier to get in and out, I don't know, we'll have to see when we get that far. But, this little note here says, Get that. For installing parts, make sure you clean the contact surfaces with brake clean or something like that. The solvent, it says. Um, it's these contacts right in here. This thing doesn't focus that close. So I'm gonna use a little brake clean on a rag. Get that cleaned up. Get it all back on the machine and show you how to set the point scout. Okay, the new points are all set up. They're not set up. Installed. The condenser's in place. Um, I just had to rotate it a little bit to get that to fit since that was terminal was coming off the other side. Um, to set the points, what I like to do is remove the spark plug. That way you can turn the engine over by hand. All right, there you've seen it move. See that? What you want is you want it right on its furthest point. Which I feel is right about That's it right there. Which then you grab an O20 feeler gauge. Well, if you have it, let's see if I have it. Yeah, 19. Because I think the spec for this is 18 to 20. So I'm going to shoot right in the middle. And you take the feeler gauge and you stick it right in between the contacts. And then you loosen the screw till the whole assembly tightens up on it. And sometimes you gotta make sure it's snug. And you hold that in there, you tighten the screw back down. What I like to do is I'll turn the motor over one more time and then double check it. Too far. You should, should feel just a slight drag on that. And that's perfect. And that should be it. Um, you can time it with a timing light to get it better, you know, the more accurate, but I don't have a timing light so I can't show you that. But. Should be able to just put the plug back in, the air cleaner back on and everything, fire it up and see how it runs. Um, if it starts to break up at higher RPM, you have your timing to advance, which means the gap's too big, which means you have to go a little smaller on that gap. And if it seems real doggy, you can try opening that gap up a little bit, get a little more out of it, but that's that. Um, I have another video where I actually reset the old points on this just before these ones showed up. 
um, you want to check that out too. And then I got a bunch of other videos on this, so let me know what you think of the new camera. Um, I know it's got some focusing issues, but I'll work that out. Let's zoom you back. Oh, no, wrong way. Thanks for watching. Um, like it if you subscribe to the channel. It uh, helps me out. Like the videos. You know. Dislike the videos if you didn't like what it was. But uh, if you dislike a video, please let me know what you didn't like about it so I can make improvements on this. Um, finding this to be a pretty fun hobby. Um, I've always tinkered with small engines and stuff, but just started filming it and putting it out there for other people to learn. I've had a few other people, you know, go to my videos and for advice on how to fix stuff. So helps me out, helps other people out. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.